Okay, today we're going to be using the new NeoVim Nightly build, which is 0.12, to set up our LSP servers with the new Vim native package manager. We're going to be using four plugins, and I'm going to explain why we use each one, and I'm going to tell you why you should use them, and why it makes it the simplest possible setup for your LSP. Okay, so first things first, if you've not already, you need to install the Nightly build. Now, you can do this from the NeoVim repo and build it from source, or you can use Brew like me, and you just unlink your current NeoVim, add the tap for the Nightly build, and then install the Nightly build, and then when you run NVim, it will now use the nightly build. Okay, and first things first, we need to open up NeoVim. And as you can see, you're in the NeoVim 12. Then we're going to go to the init.lua file, which will be nice and empty so we can start from fresh. Now, when LSP became native in NeoVim in 0.11, lots of people rushed to delete NVim LSP config and lots of their LSP plugins to try and simplify it. However, I think that's the wrong way to do it. By keeping NVim LSP config and using it, you can basically eliminate a lot of the heavy lifting. So for example, when we install a server, uh, we don't have to manually find a configuration for it. Uh, NVIM LSP config will provide us a default configuration, and then anything we add additional to that server will just be combined with the defaults. So we're going to be using NVIM 12, so we can use the new Vim package manager. So if we just copy this step right here, paste that in here, and that is as simple as that, that is going to be installed. So now the next step, when you quick start in, it says install server and then enable server. All right, simple stuff. Now to install our servers, you don't want to be doing this for, let's say 10 different servers, do you? If you work with multiple languages. Obviously it's fine to do one time when you're on one machine, but if you're swapping machines, it's a bit of a headache. And especially since a lot of people using NeoVim want to bring their dot files with them. So the server, uh, the thing we're going to be using the plugin is Mason. Now Mason just provides us a nice interface where we can install all the servers. So if we just add that in here, boom, just like that, then Mason is added. Now, another perfect addition, which will basically skip out the next step, which is this Vim LSP enable, is Mason LSP config. Now this one bridges the gap, so basically it will automatically enable all the plugins you install through Mason. So if we just add that one in here as well, now we have what is a really nifty setup. So now that we've added them, we need to do something which is just basically just calling the setup method for all these plugins. So if we just quickly go for Mason, then dot setup, and then same for uh, LSP config Mason. Source that, restart. Now if we go back to our init.lua, if we open Mason, uh, and we look for Lua LS. Ah, there it is, Lua LS. So if we install this language server, we're going to see that we're going to get some errors in our file because Lua doesn't recognize the Vim global. So if we just quickly uh, write this file, add an equals, there's an error there, look. Equals is not valid on its own. And we're also getting this Vim thing. Now, to simplify things, you can actually add in the in here, you can add... Uh, ensure installed and it will ensure installed your service. However, it doesn't necessarily work for things like ESLint. It won't install that one for you. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a, not ideal. So what you want to do is use this next plugin, which is Mason tool installer. Now this one will allow you to put ensure installed and you can list anything by its Mason name. So if we just add that in here as well, we just add that in here as well. And then if we, Call this setup for this also tool installer. And then we want to use ensure installed. And if we go for which ones did we just, we already installed Lua LS, right? But if we want to ensure we install style Lua as well. Okay, perfect. So now when we uh, source this, it's going to ask if we want to install the next one. We say yes, installing plugins. Okay, done. And if we restart now, it's going to look in the bottom left there. It's just installed style Lua. So this is a really easy setup for LSP, and we've already done it. That's the LSP server. If we add in PyRite in here, obviously need a comma. If we add PyRite in here, if we open like a test dot, test dot Python. Hello, that's not valid Python. 
Now, it's not recognized that yet because we've not um, sourced. So if we source this and we restart so that Pyrite is installed, then we open back that test.py. It's already just installed Pyrite automatically there. But if I now write hello, not valid Python, we get an error. Perfect. So there we go, we set up our LSP to automatically install our language server, set it up, enable it, etc. Now, if we want to go a step further and want to configure one manually, which we will need to do for Lua, it's very simple. So this is like a little, a little optional bit at the end, but if you want to get rid of the errors when you're editing your NeoVim config, uh, when you're doing like Vim dot, etc., you want to use this. So if we just go here, as you can see in the NeoVim issues, there's lots of solutions right here. If we just grab these settings and I'll talk for exactly what they do. So we need to jump into here. We just do uh, vim.lsp.config, put in Lua LS here, and then pass in these options, just like that. So basically we set the runtime, um, tell language server which runtime we're using. So Lua JRT is what NeoVim uses. And then similarly, we need to tell it about what we want to define. So we want to define Vim and require as globals, which is what will get rid of this error here. Similarly, we need to make sure the language server knows where all the Neo, NeoVim uh, runtime files are. And that's what this line does. And then obviously optionally, you can disable the telemetry. So none of your data has been sent anywhere. And that is literally it. If we now source this, or restart, so it restarts the language server. We go back to init.lua. If I put an equal sign in there, the equals are going to show an error, but the Vim will no longer show an error. So if we just wait for the language server to boot up. As you can see, we've got an error for the equals, but we've not got an error for the Vim. So yeah, dead simple way to set up the new Neil Vim with LSP. It's very easy to expand upon. You can just add, add your servers in the insurance installed, or you can just install through Mason. And then when you reopen Neil Vim, it'll install the server and the LSP will be good to go. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe, give it a like, you know the rest.